Hello, my name is Robert Brill. I'm a fibromyalgia advocate and PhD candidate in health psychology, and this is my fibromyalgia podcast series. Today I'd like to discuss the central sensitization phenomenon as often seen in fibromyalgia. There's no evidence for the hypersensitivity or hyperalgesia that many individuals with fibromyalgia experience in the absence of tissue damage. Peripheral sensitization typically depends on tissue damage or inflammation, which decreases nociceptor thresholds and causes pain. The evidence just does not exist today, which makes fibromyalgia so difficult to treat. In fibro, the theory is that the hypersensitivity of pain comes from hyperexcitable central nervous system. The fibromyalgia patient's pain thus becomes exaggerated in the presence of minimal stimuli and most often in the absence of tissue damage or inflammation altogether. This essentially describes the central sensitization theory. Traditionally, it was believed that the cerebral cortex was the caboose in the pain pathway and that pain processing occurred somewhere else. Subsequently, clinicians did not pursue treatment in this direction. But research has since proven that pain is processed in the cerebral cortex and can be influenced by outside stimuli. In theory, psychological factors are not largely causal to pain. However, psychological factors can trigger or exacerbate pain or, or, or contribute to pain disorders, distress, disability, as often seen in chronic pain conditions. This suggests a strong link between psychology and chronic pain and further between psychology and disability. Research in this area also suggests that treating the pain or pain modulation at the three sites may be the better way to target versus one site, since there may be a psychological implication to managing this pain as well. In the case of chronic pain associated with fibro, a treatment regime could go as follows. Treating the peripheral, spinal, and supraspinal sites, attenuation or blockade of pain using NSAIDs, targeting the periphery site, the use of opioids or antidepressants to gate the pain at the spinal cord and brain, and finally treating the psychology or the perception of pain at the supraspinal site using cognitive behavioral therapy, biofeedback, or hypnosis or a combination of these. Thank you.